name's Henta and I am a singer-songwriter originally from England and nearly four years ago I actually moved to Seattle on a musical adventure thanks to a friend of mine, Luddington GT, who's a local mixer, musician, producer. I am a, and I'm an electronic musician, at least I have, have been for the last kind of 10 years probably, but I'm also an acoustic lover, so um, I'm going back to my more acoustic roots right now because I really want to record with real instruments again. But the last 10 years I've spent recording, you know, using a computer, and obviously it's helped me to, to learn how to, you know, engineer and produce, which has been great. Um, but now I really, really want to experience recording with instruments again. And I, uh, I write down tempo, very melodic, vocalicious material. I started playing piano when I was about seven um, and you know, began to learn about um, theory and reading music. Um, but when I got to about ten, I started to diversify <laughs> and I wanted to write my own songs for school and plays and things like that and so I kind of stopped with the classical element of music and just progressed more onto I suppose what you'd call you know, mainstream pop type music um, when I was quite young and then I, I joined a band when I was about 18 so that was more like a progressive rock band <laughs> and so I went through my rock period for about four years probably um, actually a bit longer than that and um, so it wasn't until I got to late 20s that I started on my electronic music path I decided to write a concept album about meditation and chakra activation because I'm not I wouldn't classify myself as a new age artist purely a new age artist but this album took me into that that realm that arena so I submitted it into the the best new age album at the Grammys and that's what I was nominated for so I made it to the top five and it was a crazy crazy experience I mean it's you know just the whole trip to LA and being around so much amazing um, and it's just a spectacle of sound and light and it was incredible um, and I'm still kind of I'm still wondering how it happened but obviously that I think for me the best thing that I ever did since moving to Seattle other than getting married is joining the the recording academy because that's what helped me to to meet new people in the music industry and to network and um, and that's how it all started really that's how I managed to to you know I submitted my material into the annual Grammys and was lucky enough to to get nominated so rain is actually a song that I I started to write probably 20 years ago 20 years ago and just recently I was playing the piano again and realized how strong it felt playing it and the actual the meaning behind the rain it's about survival because we you know without water mankind my, mankind cannot exist and because the earth is already challenged by global warming and planetary activity it's really down to us to you know to look after our earth and I think a lot of that is to do with being part of a community, a supportive community, and it's about supporting your your local farmers because it just feels like so much of the, the food supply is controlled by the large corporations, and you know that takes away from your your local community. So so really, it's a it's a drive right now, and you know it's not just me. It's it's a it's a global thing. We need each to make a personal contribution to bring about positive global change. And so that's what, that's why rain is so important. The more 
the more I've performed and the more my, my music has changed, it's been less about, about me. You know, a lot of my albums are from personal experiences and relationships. But now I'm definitely on this new, this new wave of like pushing stuff outwards instead of pulling it all back in. You know, and so I'm trying to reach out to people. It's like a, I guess you could call it a healing mission. So I want to affect people with the music that I write and not just in a, you know, not a cheesy way. I just, I want that to happen because it needs to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then, you know, it will just be awful. It will be a very bleak world. I recently completed um, a contemporary classical trilogy called Red Into the Blue, which is about transmuting the negative into positive energy. And it's a genre that I don't normally work in, but it's, it's actually appealing to a different um, group of people um, at the moment, which is really good. And so that, that message for me is really, really strong right now. I'd like to promote that, but also I'd like to, to work in this genre with the acoustic, with the, you know, the beautiful piano and um, real instruments. And I'd like Rain to be affiliated with uh, a really strong video of some kind. I'm really um, a fan of Witness, um, which is an organisation that Peter Gabriel set up. Um, and his tagline is like, see it, film it change it and, and I think rain it falls into that kind of that category and I, I would love it to just be linked with something very powerful so that you get the visual effect as well as the sonic effect of a song you know so that's that would be my dream to be um, affiliated with something like that I mean we're gonna Marcel and I will continue to make videos ourselves um, but we need we need the strength of a, a greater power, if you like, to spread the message. Let that truth be.